What's up YouTube? This is Victor on the Let Me Explain show and today I'm going to talk about two types of Irish sea moss. Um, two brands if I may say and just say what I have experienced from both of them. So we'll start with um, Bear Organics. Now Bear Organics comes, sorry I've already finished this container, but um, it comes already ground and it's a white powder. Uh, what I found about it is that yeah, it is Irish sea moss. It does give me the same effect, but it appears to me that the Irish sea moss used in bare organics was not washed off the salt because it's super salty. This actually has 300 milligrams of salt, which is 13% of um, um, the contents. So with bare organics, I would say if you're going to use it for cooking where you are going to add salt anyway to your dish, then this would work. But as a daily use, in ter in, like I would take Irish sea moss, I would not go with um, bare organics. I like the packaging. I like um, the presentation of it. But like I said, the salt content due to the fact that the Irish sea moss was not washed before it was ground down to powder form is not my favorite part of it. So would I be buying this again? Well, I don't cook with Irish sea moss. Let's leave it at that. And now moving on to my new favorite, which is from Red's, um, Red's Kitchen Sink. Now, this lady actually goes to uh, St. Lucia in Jamaica to, to harvest it or has contacts there who actually harvest it. So I like that as a first point of contact because it's coming from a human being, not a company who is actually going to the source so she can speak for the source and um, it's being harvested by people she knows. So that's would qualify this for me as a trusted source. And secondly, it's been washed to, to, to a degree that you can actually eat it straight from from the bag. It's still salty, but that's probably because it hasn't been um, thoroughly washed because for whatever reasons. So salt is also a preservative, so there you have it. But it's not as salty as Bay Organics. I must add that very quickly. Uh, so this is in raw form, and you have to, you still have to wash it and soak it to uh, pro produce your gel or wash it, dry it, and then grind it down to a powder if you're going to make capsules like I'm going to do. So that being said, would I recommend um, Red's Kitchen Sink, Sink Irish Sea Moss? Definitely. It does come at a price. This is 42 bucks um, on Amazon. I'll leave the link below. It is an affiliate link. I'll get a kickback from that. doesn't mean it increases your price, but it does mean I get a little something for doing this video for you. All right. So with, so, so um, this one, which is eight ounces, and this is 16 ounces, this costs $30. Remember, this is pre-ground, and the only issue I had it was the salt content. So 30 bucks for eight ounces um, or half a pound or a pound of raw stuff that you have to do more work on, but you know the source and um, it's been pre-washed so there isn't too much washing to do. I would definitely go with um, uh, Red's uh, Kitchen Sink, Wild Crafted Irish Sea Moss. That's all I have to say. Now you might ask, why should I take Irish Sea Moss in case you just happen to hear about it for the first time. Now, Irish sea moss, I first learned about it from Dr. Sebi, the late, great Dr. Sebi. Um, I know there's a lot to say about Dr. Sebi. I've learned a lot from him, and I do honor his name and the knowledge that he left for us. That's how I first, first came across Irish sea moss, to, only to discover that it has 108... Uh, it has 92 minerals and nutrients, so it's highly, highly nutritious. And so one of them, Dr. Sebi talked a lot about it being high, super high in, in calcium, which is great for your bones. 
But an argument people put for milk is that, where will I get my calcium? Iris Simos. So do check out um, Iris Simos. Research it and see if it's something you want to take into your diet. But I always have Iris Simos in the house because it's worked so great for me. And um, my kids like it. They take it once in a while. I use it in capsules. So my process takes a while because I have to wash it, dry it, sun dry it, grind it make the capsules, consume them. So it is a bit of work, but when you consider it, I know what I'm eating. I know what I'm putting into my system and I'm willing to put the work into it because when you interact with food, it interacts with you. So that's all I have to say about that. I would love to hear from you if you've used Bay Organics or Red's, uh, Red's Kitchen Sink well-crafted um, Irish sea moss. And uh, I would love to hear what you think, what you think about those two and if you do work for bear organics and see this video would like to have your take on why the salt content sodium content is so high in your product this is victor on the let me explain show